Stangible Disco here. I uh, recently made a video about uh, mind control and who is the captain of my soul. But I have a, a little bit more of an issue with machines controlling human minds than just that. I think that machines can control us because we allow it by becoming obsessed with computers, networks, and other such things. Every time I go to the recreation center, which is not going to be for a while because of the hole that the doctors have cut in my foot, can't go swimming with open wounds and it's going to take weeks, if not months, for this wound to heal. But every time I go to the rec center in the locker room, there would be various cell phones ringing, people answering calls, making calls, picking away at these little devices. Now, nobody's forcing them to do this. These devices are not actively controlling their minds. They are allowing these devices to control their lives because of over-reliance upon them, in my opinion, over-reliance. We have become too reliant on these technologies, obsessed with them uh, to the point where if we were suddenly deprived of all of them, we would suffer immense withdrawal symptoms. And I can speak about withdrawal sometime in another video having to do with the benzodiazepine drug known as clonazepam. I've made videos about that before, but benzodiazepine drugs in general. In a way, technology this kind of technology is kind of like a benzodiazepine drug. It's something that we use to divert our attention from the reality around us. The hard, cold, sometimes hot, but always very, very real reality. The deer walking down the street in front of the house. The birds calling all kinds of things. I remember once reading about Native American television and I don't know where I read it but it was in a book. It was not on uh, my iPad or any other computer. Uh, this uh, American, regular American citizen was together with a Native American and they were wandering around in the woods and said, let's watch some Indian television. Indian meaning Native American. And so they sat down on a log or a stump or something and just sat there and listened to the sounds and watched the sights in the woods. The birds, the animals, the rustling of the leaves of the trees as the wind blew through them possibly the chirping of the crickets if it was nighttime, moon in its first quarter, maybe even the sound of an insect flying by now and then. And uh, the regular American citizen said, uh, what, what are we doing? What's Indian television? When are we going to watch Indian television? And the Indian said, we're doing it. We're watching Indian television. You go out fishing, you cast your line into the water and you catch the fish and you pull it up and you watch it flounder around as you take the hook out of its mouth, deciding whether or not it's a, a good meal for the evening. That is the kind of reality we're missing out on when we sit there with our devices pecking away when we sit there making YouTube videos indoors, when it's a beautiful day outdoors, 
unfortunately I am also I've acquired some kind of intestinal virus or something doesn't make anything any fun but I am as guilty as anyone else over reliance on technology overuse of technology and obsession with technology is something that we people do technology is not forcing itself upon us it's not controlling our minds because of some evil machine motive. We are simply overusing the bloody things. And I think I'm giving serious thought to gradually reducing my use of these devices and increasing my activities in the real world and in nature. I have to work on my health and gaining it back somehow. I'm doing the best I can. And I rely on technology for that. The technology used in the hospitals and by the doctors. And also, I rely on my faith in higher powers. Let he or she who has ears to hear, hear. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.